this video, we will look at the measurement instrument and several statistical concepts surrounding the act of measurement. This is part three in the Navigating Statistics and Research series. The method section takes a detailed view of the measurement instrument. That is, it shows or defines how the measurements are taken and describes what tools are used to perform the measurements. There are numerous possible measurement instruments to use, including physical measurements, such as using a ruler to measure length, conceptual methods of measuring, such as using a rubric or observation guide, measurement systems, such as sensor arrays or photographic systems, and procedural methods such as surveys, questionnaires or focus groups. Details that may be included in this section include the physical means of obtaining measurements, the equipment used, circuits, spatial setup of the system, data collection files, software used to run the equipment, etc. The reader should also be aware of issues that may introduce bias into the data or errors into the analysis. These can be introduced by such diverse circumstances as the resolution limits of the measurements, the sample size, the ways used for selecting respondents and for repeating measurements, the way the survey questions are asked, and confounding factors and influences that the authors may not have considered. Importantly, these can impact on what analysis method should be chosen and whether the results are valid. When describing the measurement techniques, the author may include reasons for making specific decisions about the measurement methods and how the results were interpreted. Some of these decisions determine directly what sort of statistical analysis can be applied to the results. Other decisions address assumptions of the analysis techniques in order to ensure they are met. For example, the decision to randomize sample selection or to use a grid to ensure an appropriate sample is selected. We will discuss a range of related issues including validity, accuracy, reliability and error. A measurement is valid if it measures what you actually set out to measure. Usually we want to ensure that the measurement instrument creates a reasonable measurement, that it is within range and that it has an appropriate resolution. But obtaining a valid measurement isn't always straightforward. For example, we know that air pressure changes as you go up in altitude so we can use average air pressure to effectively measure the height above sea level. So if two people, one in Perth and one in Brisbane, told us their current air pressure, we could probably tell which person has the higher altitude. But we could be wrong. Weather also changes the air pressure, and this can affect the measurement by enough to give incorrect comparisons. Accuracy is the ability to obtain the correct measurement. An accurate ruler is one that correctly measures centimetres when it says it does. That is, the ruler hasn't been stretched or cut off at the end or warped in the middle. An accurate gun sight is one that can hit a bullseye when the crosshairs say it will. Reliability is the ability to consistently obtain the same value over and over again when measuring an object. A gun sight may consistently cause the bullet to hit the top left corner of the target. Because it is consistent, this sight is considered reliable, even though it isn't accurate. In research, there are two distinct families of error, measurement error and statistical error. Since every measurement system has error, the authors should state or determine the measurement error associated with any measurement device. Measurement error is usually quantified using the plus or minus symbol followed by a value and its units such as plus or minus 0 0.7 volts. Sometimes instead of the plus or minus symbol a value is put in brackets. This corresponds to the error. In some devices the error changes with the size of the measurement and a formula for the error is provided. Statistical error is defined as the difference between the retained value, or measured value, and the true value. It includes both bias and variations found in the sample or population. An example shown here 
is the sampling error, which is the statistical error of estimates of the mean. As we increase the size of the sample, the error in our estimate of the population mean decreases. This is the end of the third video in the Navigating Statistics and Research series.